So I've made three videos in which I use an EEG machine to measure my brain waves while I do telekinesis. I don't normally use this kind of equipment and the EEG machine I'm using is a consumer grade quality machine, the kind you can order online. So I don't know how accurate it is, but what I'm looking for here in the chart, which you'll see soon, is a change in the brain wavelengths right before a movement occurs in the object. I'm doing the kind of telekinesis where I'm sitting across a table from the object and it's covered by glass and setting my intention and attention toward it to change, to move. So we'll see what happens here. Um, yeah, let's go to the video and I'll make commentary as we go along. So here we see me putting on the headset. The object is on the end of the table, but I've enlarged the image and it's up above. And then I've enlarged uh, the screen of my phone also because that's what's reading the signals from the headset. I was leaning over to check that the signal is coming in, and it is. And so you see me looking up at the ceiling now, and that's because I just want to clear my head. I don't want to focus on the object yet. And I want to see what the signals do while I'm looking up or looking away from the object. But soon enough, I'll turn my attention to the object, and we'll see what happens. <clears throat> there are five colors here, and each one re reflects a distinct wavelength. The red is for a delta, which is normally associated with deep sleep. Then the purple one is theta, which is involved with meditation, healing work, things like that. Alpha is a light daydreamy state or light meditation. Beta is correlated with the waking state, logical thinking. And gamma, I don't know too much about. Um, they don't talk about it very much. So I don't know what happened here. The signal seemed to drop down into the negative, and now it's coming back up again, and the object is starting to move, which is interesting, that the waves come up and the object is moving. Some of the movement here is very subtle. So now we see a little climb there, especially with the delta line, and nothing seems to be happening to the object yet. Then a bump, and then followed by some movement. So the object moved a little bit after there was that bump in the wavelengths, especially the delta. It's still moving. In the next two videos, the movement will be far more obvious. So, Here the object starting to move in the opposite direction, and there was another bump there in the delta right beforehand. And the object is moving again a little bit, but there doesn't seem to be a correlated wave or an increased wave. And so we have a sharp increase here, especially in delta, and a larger movement in the object. So we see it turning there. And then another increase in the wave for the red line especially, delta. It's interesting because delta is associated with deep sleep and I'm wondering is that something that I'm accessing when I'm applying my intention and attention toward the object. Then there's another bump there and we see more movement in the object. Now I'm not saying that this change in the wavelengths is making the object move. It might be reflecting something else that I'm doing with my mind. It might be reflecting my intention so it might not necessarily be the cause of the movement. Okay, so see, we, here's another spike in delta and then a larger movement of the object. Then we see another bump, and then I noted a, a subtle movement of the object. 
If it's helpful for you, you could watch this again and just click backward or click forward every few seconds and it'll make the small movements a little bit more obvious for you. Then another bump and then some movement. It doesn't seem like very much movement though. And then another bump, you see that in the red line there, and more movement. Yeah, it keeps turning. And then it's interesting, that sharp shift there, that's when in my mind I decided to end the experiment. And now it's going to go offline as I take off the headset. So, very interesting. I've got two more videos. Let's check them out.